anything the easy way. Watch this takeoff of this Sky Champion and one of the world's nicest guys. Rolls the airplane pushes forward, brought to you by Tation. Straight up now. Holds it up there after that. Watch for the double pinwheel turnaround around once it goes and all the way around the second time. Very difficult to do. Now off on your right, it will be the rolling half loop. As he goes up, he manages to roll the airplane while drawing that loop in the sky. Then when he gets to the top of all of these different maneuvers, he'll push and tumble the aircraft. Watch the tail and watch the nose. Straight up, there's like a homesick angel. There's the tumble, tumbling the aircraft in a very small diameter. Now as he turns off to your left, again another different and difficult maneuver. This will be when he calls the frisbee. A frisbee twirling in the sky at a summertime park in the great state of Ohio. Then off to the right, he'll turn it around. A series of rolls on a 45 degree descending line in relation to the horizon. Minimum speed now on the down line. Rolling the aircraft knife edge flight right side up, then changes direction with a rapid roll. Off to your left, it will be a tumble in the vertical environment. On the that, it will be a series of snap rolls on the 45 descending line. What? There's the snap rolls on the down line. Now he'll roll into what is not so much of an arc as it is an angle. We call him the shark's tooth. He rolls on the way up, drawing the shark's tooth in the sky right about here on the descending line. And now setting up off on your left for a maneuver, he's named the Nivik. <laughs> He has garnered so many championships. On your left, the champion, Rob Holland, in the Nivik maneuver. As he points the airplane towards you, then changes that direction to parallel with the ground, and then spins the aircraft, recovers upside down, in full control. Now off on your right, showing you the great power to weight ratio, the skill of the pilot. He will tumble the airplane the hard way, on the way up. Watch this, end over end and still climbing the airplane. Now floating the airplane, now recovering the aircraft. <laughs> that is so oh, cool. This guy is such a fun guy to watch and what a neat guy he is. Holland American is what we call him. This is called the Cardiac Express, and this is the reason why. When you think it's all over, again the end over end jump. Now he's got a signature maneuver before he's ready to break and let the engine cool to get some altitude. Get the speed down low. This is called the Cobra. Inverted Frisbee first, then holds his altitude, rolls right side up, continues to roll at minimum speed. Now watch him pull back on that stick. The Cobra has struck, forcing that airplane around. Now he's going to take a little break. 
and we're going to go to Rob Holland in the cockpit and Rob Ryder on the microphone while I rest. Oh my goodness, yeah, Danny Clisham, I think he needs some rest too. Rob Holland, it's Rob Ryder, how are you, my friend? I am doing absolutely awesome, and your performance is monstrous. Dayton, make some noise so he can hear you. Yeah. You hear that? I got a lot of class. All right, sir, what's coming up? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take a moment of your time. And if you just want to help do me a favor, you see a military man or woman in uniform, or a veteran, I want to walk up to him, look him in the eye, shake their hand, and say thank you. Rob Holland, it looks awesome. Thank you for that. I'm sure every man and woman who serves in our country is appreciative of that heart in the sky. What do you have for second half? All right, folks, every time I climb up, get ready for my second half. Looking for a lot of energy. I'll be doing about 300 miles an hour at the bottom of the sky. Special thanks to everybody. Yes, I the camera's ready. Yeah. This is going to make me dizzy, and I'm on the ground. Let her rip, Rob Holland. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it increases his speed. Now he unwinds it. Give him a big round of applause. Wow. All right, now an inside jump. Up on the right. Inside jumble, positive G jumble this time. Now as he comes back from right to left, he'll do a vertical roll and then do an inside. That means positive, nice edge spin. So prop the airplane up on the side of the fuselage and actually spin in that environment with the, horse, with the uh, fuselage horizontal to the horizon. It will try to turn inside of itself. Watch this on its side. The knife has spin by Rob Holland again. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> wow. All right. Vertical endo. Now, he's going to do a maneuver that was invented by the late Leo Lovenswager, the only man I ever saw do it successfully over and over again. Rob Holland. Really appreciated Leo Lottenslager, who lost his life in a traffic accident. He went to the family and said, Would you mind if I duplicated Leo's computer role? And his daughters and his wife said, No, we would love to have you do it. You're the perfect man. So, what you're going to see is not done by anybody else. It will be from a level flight environment. Here's what he'll do in one pass. Double snap roll to the right, full roll left, half roll right, half outside snap to the left, three-quarter right, three-quarter outside snap to the left, and a right roll and a half in one pass. Not accomplished since Leo did that. And Rob Holland is a tribute to the great Leo Lobsquadron, seven-time national aerobatic champion. He calls that the Leo roll. It's going to happen fast. Remember, you see it here, and you see it only by Rob Holland. He's going to get set up for all that. Here it goes. Inverted play. Right side up, down on the ground. Rolls on the surface, then up. He'll push the nose over to turn around. Falling in the sky. Point roll, then changes from a point roll to an opposing pass. Now remember, all of these maneuvers are different. They are not duplicated. That's how you gain points in national and world championships. All right, here it comes. Let's watch for this. Double snap roll. Sliding into second base. 
We call this the slide winder. Gaining altitude and changing direction into second base, then into the torque roll, then rolling on the descending line at minimum speed. Oh, that's right. No letter. 